Hello and welcome back with the Civil episode 3. Of the Syndicalist France playthrough of the Kaiserreich mod of Hearts of Iron 4. That's kind of a long name. Anyway, it's on pause and build some wonderful things. Because that's what we French do. We build things. We don't know why, we just do it. Anyway, our uh, wonderful uh, Department of Revolutionary Ideas is done soon. We get another 200 power. Political one. Three days. Two. One. And... Bam. Pause perfectly. Uh, basic machine tools as well. And um, we get the research slot. This will give... Oh, military factories, a lot of it. Damocles project. Huh. Curie project, okay. If they accept, we get a two times bonus. If they, they don't have to do the Curie project. You get that for sure, and then uh, economy, I guess. Do this, and let's do some things. Ghost stability, we get to go to very ghost stability. I think we'll do that. And then we can get a dude. An intel minister would be really nice, and eh, we don't really need that. We need, um, like the industry guy here. Industrial research time, it's really huge. Electronics, uh, speeds up research. Could be useful. We're going for the research search soon. Yeah, in that. Never mind. And this would be the construction thing. Here's just more to research. That's why I usually prefer this. Instead of the research bonus. Yeah, so researching this. Need to improve the artillery and everything. Hmm. <clears throat> But yeah, I want one of these guys to just make it quicker. Weapons manufacturer is not needed yet. Uh, five percent world tension. We could go early mobilization. Yeah. We have thirty percent con uh, consumer goods factories, which is not good. No, let's go for the industrial research time, dude. And let's just um, get the industrialization up, right? See, it just took off 20 days here. Which is huge. Remodelization of Oltenia, the city of Bucharest of 1918, officially ended the World Cup for Romania, but <coughs> at high cost, the nation was now dominated by German and Austrian industries. Altenia was demilitarized and the oil fields were released to Germany up to uh, the year 2012. <laughs> Demolition of the Romanians had been endured, result, uh, had to endure, had to endure, result in the nation develop, devel, devolving into a national populist dictatorship led by con, conducator Cornelio Condairu, something, something, this guy. Kodreu and his Iron Guard set out on a mission to restore Romania, what would have been a titan of the Balkans. The first major move of the conductor was the realization of Altania, in Wallachia. That was the Germans have to deal with at the same time. Yeah, uncertain times. We do not care. They are fascists. I was pointing at the screen. You know, cannot see that. Sad enough. Ah, good guy. Benoit. Frachon. Nice, 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 nice. Inefficient intelligence this is really bad. But research slot would be huge. And we have here the Societe Meteorologique de Domani. Which is really nice as well. We have no occupied territory, do we? Oh! Some duchies. Okay. Like I care. And construction will speed up our construction, obviously. I have to get a lot more factories up. 
You can later then just um, convert it if you need to. Anyway, what's, what's with revolution here? I know there's something to happen. No template yet, I know. We still are in the minus on uh, infantry equipment. And construction one, very nice. You don't need to uh, pause the military, it stores up some research points with 30 days, but... Uh, this is a bit ahead of time. Hmm. We could get this, resource gain efficiency. I usually do not do these things, but we have no resources. On the other hand, better weapons uh, we really, really need. It's 83, we have this to do. Like all this line here, like field hospitals and shit like that. The tanks, eh, I don't know if we need tanks. Better artillery would be nice. But it's not like we are going to war soon. It's like... Whatever, let's take this. We could train some guys, but also army experience would be really nice. We could train our dudes to get army experience up. Let's try how much difference that will make. Not a whole lot. And we are using a lot of our equipment. Well, that's fine. We can modify our government again. Hmm. Uh, where are our syndicates? Here we go. Construction is ten percent. The production cap is worse. This is rocket side construction nuclear reaction that we do not need that guys in just for list. Our code guy is long Johor, we voted him for him and so eh. But it also means political power gain. And the construction speed is really nice. We have five percent here. Let's vote for Mollet, I think. We have no terrorists. I have no intel minister either. If we, someone who gets another bonus to decryption. I don't think so. No, it's just all the same. Bad. Bad, 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 bad. I come with two guys. This this guy. Uh, same as your monthly opinion. Desire to be in or expand affection. Ideological Crusader. I mean, same guy here. It makes no difference. Plus 20. So we go. Focus on peace. Total opinion factor. Now I think we are actually good with these guys. He is a bit air. Eh? This is the head of government. Trade dealer and political power and civilian factor construction is actually huge. I don't think we get anywhere one as political power, which is nice. But he's just playing the best we could get. So what to spend our political power on? We could speed up. Um, <clears throat> we stage a coup. Uh, we could do that in other countries though. We, I know this may fire anyway So I'm kind of in favor for staging coup elsewhere Like he has um, regular socialists and syndicalists they as well Finland is bad news That's bad. So we can stage a coup somewhere. Uh, 
They are syndicalists, right? Yes, at least that. Hmm, what would be important to get? What's the long-term goal I want to achieve with this? He looks weird. In the Ottoman Empire. Huh. Maybe something here. In the Canaids or whatever. A Turkish flag, just another color. Russia. What is this Japan, though? Hmm. It's all some fascists here. German Empire, uh, Kingdom of Siam. We could do it here. They are syndicalists already. Um, these are not. Like something uh, in <coughs> Asia would be really good. Or even Portugal. I kind of... Yeah, let's do it here. In Piemont. Yes, let's do it. It would take a lot of time and some influence, but that's okay. We make enough. Ah, the Bastille Day celebration. So this is a fête nationale, the celebration of the storming of the Bastille and the beginning of the first French Revolution. Nice, and we get even more political power. You cannot uh, just avoid war goal here. Power turns 25%. We don't have that. But another thing we could do at twenty at uh, five percent, and that was in our own country somewhere, somewhere, yes, somewhere it was. I am pretty sure. Um, yeah, this. Why can't we do that? I want to uh, mobilize because faster build speed of factories and shit. But anyway, we get to this uh, institute thing now. <laughs> nice! And that's uh, just propaganda. Nah. Gives recruitable population though. The road to war, I don't think so. We can get some military factories and stuff. This is one for construction technology, is also nice. Back this one of these things. Yeah, let's go um, for this 28 days. Let's do that. We send some help. Oh, research slot. I nearly forgot. Let's go here for a radio, I guess. Nah, let's just research this. We have weapons. Why can't I do that? What was it again? This one here. I want that in my life. Uh, it's, I think it was below 5%. Just showed 5. Let's wait for the next crash or whatever. Oh, the Allgemeine Auslandsgesellschaft is going down. Austral-Asian Confederation, yeah, it's... Ah, they even have some fascists here. Ah, this is uh, one country. Uh, the first... Burj International Art Festival. The first Burj International Art Festival was held today. The artwork included many famous syndicalist realist paintings commissioned by the French government as well as, a, as many British, Russian and American paintings and more, more painted by Diego Rivera. The event will be lasting into the weekend and has attracted worldwide attention. We will enjoy the spotlight. 
Not a little paw, that's uh, always nice. Uh, we could maybe do something funny here. We could stage a coup in one of these as well. Tyrol, Montenegro is down here. I wanted to do in the capital. Niederösterreich. I cannot do that. Let's go for the Steiermark. Can't do it there either. Oberösterreich. I can't do it there either. Canton then. Let's do it. You lose some political power. That's not good. But we have to be active. Mission. Yes. It's done. It's worth the month. Uh, working Romo. I think I will do that as well. Factory out with 3%. Hmm. I won't like to have these, all of these as well. All of it. No, factory tot. Hello, moth. Go away. Sense of dedication. That's research time. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of. Um, Civilian factories, I would really like to have all of it. Let's do it. Let's get the industrialization going and then get the women to work. Sounds like a good idea. It's four points, it's nothing. I think I will stop training. Even though I have not even reached five points. It was kind of a waste. But I want to um, see what actually benefits would that be. Krumthep Maha Nakon. Okay. Well then, they are winning the war though. Hopefully, make the Germans go away. Uh, we're losing points, so I will not put anything into there. The end of American democracy. Surprising news have arrived from the United States of America. Turned President Ed Herbert Hoover. What? Whose administration has proven to be un uncapable of civilizing the divided country and calming down the CSA and AFP militants. Has inv invited General Douglas MacArthur to take the reins of the country with a junta of military men and corporate representatives. That's fucking terrifying. Military junta? Seriously? President MacArthur is a strong proponent of the Iron Fist rule and opposed both syndicalism and American pacifism. Large-scale crackdowns on enemies of America have already been reported. It's not, not, not good. It's entirely not okay. Something happens. Oh, auto save. And there goes superior firepower. I I'm terrified. There are no revolutions happening. Oh, here we go. United States declared war on this combined syndicates of America. Those are these guys. Our revolution has begun. Send them weapons. Um, make how many a day? Let's make it 500 in a month. I yeah, have weapons. My friends, fight for the revolution. And here we go. Oh, 
Combined syndicates of America, war on American Union State. Yeah, this happened as well. American Union State. Way long. Don't even ask. They have a screaming eagle instead of stars. They have just plain two, two colors. It's perfect. Perfect flag. These assholes, no, no. Um, send for the Pearson equipment. Yes, all of it. How many do we make? A minus. We have to um, get our equipment production up. And this is the second American Civil War. Whew. To uneducated foreigners, it might seem like the crisis in the United States happened out of nowhere, but experts agree that that this was a civil war years in making. The thing is, they didn't have uh, the New Deal. Right? The New Deal basically made the communist slash socialist and, and, and the Rust Belt here peaceful and be okay. And it did not happen. Ever since the collapse of the New York Stock Exchange in 1929, yes, the economy of the has been in constant downturn. The Great Depression was a huge depression. Also, we have these guys. Don't even, even ask. They have things here. Hawaii, I think, as well. Um, that doesn't matter. Now, the United States has devolved into a three-way civil war between the loyalists of government, the syndicalist combined syndicates of America, and the conservatives of and xenophobic American Union State. There have already been reports of arriving volunteers from Europe high to fight for a faction of their liking. A second American Civil War might just be the first of many battlefields between great powers. Yes, indeed. We are totally supporting you, friends. You, have, you got this right. You will win this. Syndicalist uprising in Manila. As the Philippines have peacefully achieved independence from the United States with the Cortic US Civil War, the young Commonwealth is already facing the danger of syndicalism, inspired by both the combined syndicates uprising in America and by the Bharatian Commune in India. A group of disgruntled army officers have ordered the units to march towards Manila, where they have joined forces with the bands of peasants and industrial workers. They are planning to establish systems. Yeah, nice. Good job, friends. This is not... Where is... This is the Philippines, right? Oh, what? As the armed force declared their support of the old Filipino government, the rebellion units quickly lost support. After one of the generals drove an armored column towards the downtown Man <laughs> Towards downtown Manila, the Sinclair's officially surrendered, ending the set of a left wing cop for fucking cries. Of the police and also for all, with the military occupying key points in the city, they decided to seize the power of them for themselves and establish coming song Tagapag Pagana Filipinas, yes. I will never say this word again. An emergency cabinet mostly made of military com commanders to ensure the safety of the Philippines oh, fucking palace indeed. It's just splintered everything. And yeah, these are Pacific States of America declared war on the United States. You as well, Brutus. Yeah, they got this, and yeah, the United States are gone. There's not, there, no chance they can fight the three one war. And these are not fighting each other, so that's very bad for now. And it's nearly that year. Get a big of a Mars, but we have the research time. Bonus thing. Uh, let's go for set industry. Oh no, construction. Construction is better. A bit more factories. Good job. What is happening? Nobody knows. St. Louis, oh god. The capital of Chicago is kind of fancy. Direction of the economy. Yes. And if we go for... We cannot do this. Yeah, because this is a ruling party. Okay, makes sense. We have no other choice than doing this. So that's me right as well. Just getting some factories for free. Well, it's not exactly free because we have to do a thing, but...
What is this blinky thing? Demilitarized zone. Oh. The fall of Chica. What? Seriously? The United States military is pushing towards Syndicate State's capital for a while now. No, it was uh, some days. For crying out loud. I wish I could send, like. Dude. Have all the weapons. Have them all. Uh, this was the research of I don't know what. Damn it. And we can't. It's too long. No, no. Let's not do that. Let's do this instead. Or the cap. It's actually faster. And by then we can switch to that. Okay, it's fine. Uh, we can an our protection line thing. This is priority. This is absolute priority. Here, have the weapons. They have. I use my transports. Oh, for crackers, come on. We can stage a coop there, but it takes forever. Nah. Come on. You have to get more troops on the field. Excavation, nice. Mm, let's go. Yeah, let's, let's go for this as well. Whatever. Full industrialization. Ah, oh, Red America, get your shit together. And weapons. That's uh, 38. That's take forever. Let's improve the artillery, I guess. Yeah, they're concentrating on these, not uh, and they get ripped apart by the Union State. And they probably have units here as well. That would be stupid. Have Chicago back, nice. It's encirclement. No. I wish I could see something there, but let's not. Uh, oh, come on. And they are they're at war with these guys. They are both not at war with them. Yeah, MacArthur, you'll get crushed. And they just lose their um, supplies soon. US and then our wonderful combined syndicalist syndicates of America will be fine hopefully oh actually they have dudes up here this is still in the United States they had war with this guy anyway we got some civilian factories get some more I guess research bonus for industry would be nice on the other hand, a uh, working woman would be nice as well, but uh, um, below this thing here. Celebrating the economy. Ah, oh, we need this. Here we get more um, factories. Let's do that. Uh, let's just ask this again. Um, guys, you seriously need more weapons, right? You need more weapons. You Come on. I need you need more weapons. Ho Chi Minh is invited to Calcutta. 
Comrade Ho Chi Minh, the leader of the industry syndicalist party. He was not a nice guy. Has been invited to Kakuta from the... Uh, to form a government in exile aimed at fermenting revolution in the former colony currently held by the Germans. A put easy way to dissolve the German colonial empire, yes. Have fun. Oh god, please. Take the weapons and use them well. We need your help. And we need to do that for several months and then that will be hopefully fine. Uh, actually I want, kind of want to have one special guy, the high command, which would be, oh, special forces guy. No, I, I want someone who gets me uh, here this wonderful army experience for, for free, if that's in the mod, I don't know. No, apparently not. Oh, this would be nice. Marines, Mountaineers, 20% bonus. Because I have a plan in mind, and I will tell you next episode. Um, right, you have the Marines and Mountaineers are plain more expensive. Like in manpower and equipment, but they have uh, here for attack and marsh rivers and amphibious bonuses, right? So much is clear, I guess. Yes, for this one thousand for each one of these, and this is just manpower uh, one thousand as well. Okay, okay, manpower is the same then. Entry equipment one hundred fifty, and they need. 100, so 50% more expensive infantry equipment. But I will make everyone either marine or mountaineer. Because you have no deficit from this, guys. And with this guy, <laughs> I will kick some major butt. Anyway, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please subscribe and comment all the sweet stuff. And we see America fall. I mean, it's just a matter of time. I just am excited to see what side we win. See you tomorrow, bye-bye.